I honestly want to know what Leipzig is feeding their center backs every single week it seems like they're getting a special card and they are super meta and this time it is a turn of Upamecano we had his regular inform we had Klosterman road to the final Mukiele right back and now we get a headliners Upamecano Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review and today we're going to be looking at Dayot Upamecano's headliners card. Another headliner review, first it was Chucky Lozano, then it was Danny Ings and now it is the turn of the French center back wall. Upamecano guys and look at the stats man he looks fantastic and he looks like the French wall to me bye bye Baran bye bye in from Lenglet hello Upamecano headliners first the 82 pace guys 73 acceleration 89 speed speed is fantastic but honestly I think I'm gonna be applying a shadow chemistry style to increase that acceleration because that is the key thing in this car yes the sprint speed is high but that acceleration needs to be increased so I definitely will be applying a shadow chemistry style once I'm done with this intro. On to the passing of 68, 65 vision, 84 short passing, 81 long passing is good enough for me. As long as he can get it out of trouble when my opponent is pressuring, that'll be good enough. The dribbling of 75, 69 agility, 73 balance, really good for a center back. 78 reactions is a little bit worrisome because reactions is a key stat in a defender. 77 composure as well. Uh, I'm not really liking that from the dribbling department, but hopefully that does not affect them in game. On to the defending of 85, 83 interceptions, 81 defensive awareness, 90 standing tackle. I just gotta press circle and he should be able to get the ball back from my side. And lastly, the physical of 87, 95 jumping. He'll out jump anybody coming his way. 97 strength and 87 aggression is crazy, man. You know Upamecano has not been skipping that gym day with that 97 strength. And then the player traits, he has no player traits, guys. And yeah, man, I don't know what else to say about the French wall. I'm so excited to try him out and see if he is worth the pickup. So let's get on to that, guys. All right, Upamecano. First challenge of the game. Is that a side movement? Oh, you're seeing it live right now. I like it, man. He does not feel clunky. And... All right, we're clearing it. Nice, guys. That was a show of that side-to-side -side movement. Really good. All right, he's challenging him right there. Beautiful, man. He made that mistake right there from the passing. It's just I didn't turn around, but... Nice, Upa. All right, come on, Upa Mikano. Challenging him. Let's go. I know you want to pass it. Again, side to side move. I'm not going to switch. Side to side movement is really good. It feels pretty fast when it comes to that department. And let's go. Come on. Upa. Upa. Let's go. Upa. I don't care about the auto switch. He still was able to get that ball. All right, come on, Upa Mikano. He's challenging Upa Mikano. There we go. Nice interception. Unfortunate touch. Let's go. Get out of here, the pie. Unfortunate touch right there, but he was able to recover and get that strong standing tackle in there. Get out of here, man. He's trying to play games. I'm just not going to switch from Upamecano. I think he's the shot down defender right now in my defense. Well, that concludes game number one for Upamecano. Not a lot of highlights as I would have wanted, but he did perform excellent. My opponent was just holding the ball in the midfield for some reason and just scaling, doing unnecessary stuff and wasting time. So, yeah, he gets a 7.4 rating, 0 goals, 0 assists. And, yeah, there we go. Pass completed 9 out of 11. Dribbles completed 9 out of 10. 10 and tackles one one out of two and hopefully in the second game we can get more highlights with Upamecano headliners so let's get on to that guys all right come on he wants to pass it down the middle I know look at that that's that high acceleration good stuff that's not a penalty stop diving the pie and you're seeing it live man that acceleration helps him out tremendously all right, challenging Upamecano. Vamos. Upamecano versus Verati. Get out of here, Verati. Not a headliner, Upamecano. Vamos, Upamecano. Get out of here, the pie. 
Good coverage. Good interception right there from Upamecano. Nope. Nope. Get out of here, Verati. Upamecano is performing the second game for sure. Nice interception by Mecano. That's what I'm talking about. He's ramping up the pressure. But I'm, I feel safe, guys, because I do have Upamecano back there. Well, my opponent rage quit, so not a lot of highlights in this game for Upamecano. But I felt safe back there. His attack was uh, deprived of Mane, Mbappe, Neymar Jr., and Diego Armando Maradona. So, for him to only score one goal shows how good my defense was. Kunde is alright, but Upamecano is way better than Kunde for sure. Not a lot of highlights. 77, 7 out of 7 passes completed. Dribbles completed 4 out of 5. And yeah, no tackles won, but he did get a key interception in the 45th minute of the game when my opponent was pressuring. But for more on that, let's go on to the final thoughts on this Upamecano's headliners card. Upamecano, guys, was a shutdown defender. He earned the name the French Wall, and that is what I'm going to name him from now on. This card's fantastic, and I definitely fell in love with the center back i can't wait to try out diego carlos as well so i am gonna review him so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any headliners review so let's go straight into the pros number one it's gonna be that 89 sprint speed really good there from a uh, upa mecano i confused the sprint speed and acceleration in the review but definitely the sprint speed is helping him out tremendously whenever he's catching up to other players on to the next pro is gonna be that 85 defending guys i did not know whether to put the standing tackle or the interceptions as a pro but i just put the whole thing together 85 defending big pro on this card on to the next pro is gonna be that 97 strength guys he is strong he is definitely you don't even need to put an anchor on him go ahead and put a shadow because that 97 strength he bullies almost everybody on the pitch mbappe neymar doesn't matter who comes along his way on to the next pro is gonna be that's 87 aggression that also helps him out making him feel more of like a tank more of a bully in the fence so gg there now on to the cons the cons on this card is gonna be that 73 acceleration guys you need to increase that that is a con on this card because it takes him a little bit to reach full speed but whenever he is up top at his full speed he is pretty fast but aside from that there is no cons on this upamecano card and now on to the leo tips i would wait till sunday to pick up this card or towards the thursday rewards because he will be cheaper than 450k i can guarantee you that and then you are set man get upamecano clusterman and you are good to go and i know a lot of people are gonna ask me clusterman upamecano who would i choose and I would choose this card. I would choose this card over Road to the Final Cluster, man. He just feels so much more stronger, more safer defensively. So that is the reason I would choose Upamecano over Clusterman. But if you, this, you definitely like speed more, definitely go with Clusterman. But anyways, I will conclude today's review, guys. And before I let you guys, I want to give you the meta rating. Meta rating on this card will be an 8.5 out of 10. Very meta player. And then the final rating will be a 9 out of 10. And yeah, guys, I have given you all my thoughts and hopefully this video helped you out. And before I let you go, I just want to say thank you so much for your support on Instagram and YouTube lately. You have been killing it with the support and I love seeing that, guys. Please take a second out of your day, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and expect a storyline review very soon on the channel. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye and good night.